Open range ultralight model 2604RB here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is a new floor plan that just came out. It might be the first one that's ever landed in Michigan. We're very close to the plant. We're high volume dealers, so we kind of get preferential treatment on new things like this. Comes in at 5,585 pounds. Truly half ton towable and easily large SUV towable. Um, there are some very unique qualities on this and some really well thought out things that I want to point out that just from a still photo you can't pick up. Um, especially first timers. You guys, long story short, you don't know what you don't know. So I'm going to try to break things down in a way that people who are experienced or inexperienced can both understand. Um, also keep in mind this 2604 may not be the exact 2604 we have in stock. Uh, we do sell a lot, over a thousand RVs last year out of small town Michigan. We are coast to coast nationwide dealer with aggressive pricing. We make deals happen. Let's start right up front, work our way around. We've got a wide and tall baggage compartment. And you can see that even in the baggage compartment, we have an LED light over there. This little box right here, that is a little laundry chute. You can actually access that from the bedroom and uh, have a little clothes basket right here. So you have your clothes basket here, toss all your clothes into it when you're camping. When you get back home, open the door, grab the basket, we're done. That's it. Camper's unpacked. We also, in here, that big box is an RVQ bumper grill. That's an option we've added to this. Again, not going to be found on necessarily every 2604. They're also using a little different baggage door system on here. It has an outer seal instead of an inner seal. Um, the idea behind that is that it makes water have to weave around a little bit more before it could possibly get into the RV. So that's a nice thing. Now this has a white nose and what they've found in the RV industry the last couple years, everybody went dark. Um, white noses can be 10 to 20 degrees cooler in the bedroom in the summertime because it's not generating all that extra heat. And that's one of the reasons they went with a lighter skin instead of a darker skin. It won't generate that heat, but man does it still have the look. This is a best in class feature nobody else period does this they have the deepest slide out in the ultralight category they have a 39 inch deep slide um, most ultralights are 24 to um, 32 inches 36 if you're lucky this is 39 three inches doesn't sound like much but you can feel it when you get inside you really can but it means the difference of your dinette sticking out of your slide out or being completely encapsulated by your slide out um, enclosed insulated forced air heated underbelly not radiant heat long story short that will perform better in a cold camping situation and i don't know if you've noticed but these are all um uh, windows that do open for ventilation here aluminum wheel package never hurt it really helps shine the thing up we have a double arch ceiling it's arched inside and outside so it's incredibly strong structurally and uh it, i mean testament to that our lowest warranty claim travel trailers we've ever carried they all have that same double arched interior roof pretty pretty big feature and a huge honking awning on this thing this has got to be i don't know 20 foot ish 22 uh foot awning with a full length led light strip some bargain manufacturers are cheating by trying to put a tiny like 10 foot led light strip in the middle but it doesn't uh encompass the whole awning you know I want I, I got the whole awning out I want light under it that's the whole point I don't want to have to add something after the fact now this is another thing I had someone say yeah I can't believe they cut this corner they don't even have outside speakers on the side of the camper no you're right they're in the awning um, the whole point of this is that when the awning is extended those speakers are pointing down at your campsite they're not pointing out toward the neighbor's camper there's another open range I told you we sell a lot of them um, the outside kitchen here is also awesome for a lot of reasons. Um, growing up, I always had a cooler by the back bumper. That's where mom, dad, grandpa, everyone had the old green Coleman cooler. And man, that thing was a tank. It's still around somewhere. I've got it in my basement. They, those things never die. Um, but the little mini fridge is kind of replacing that because it gives you a place to keep a cold drink right outside. Now look at this too. Their outside kitchen is metal. It's not wood. It can't swell. Um, it's not a press board countertop as is typically used in the business. That will save money. This is not the cheapest widget in here. It is one of the better ones. That's a smart, smart decision. Um, the uh, water lines all run with you here, so you do have hot and cold water outside with a real sink, not a little dog bowl. And even their little cooktop, they upgraded this so that you have the oversized burner on this side. Now, with the bumper grill we've added back there, you can have your steaks, burgers, and brats cooking, maybe one or two or all three at the same time. 
This big burner is perfect for like if you got a pot of corn and over here you can have your beans or something like that. You can have the whole meal outside, never heat up your RV or anything like that. This is another thing I like. This big door right here is magnetically latched. So it's in, it's it's double latched instead of single. You know, they spend a little extra money on that extra widget, but what's it worth to you? What's it worth not having that door fall when the wind comes through and bash into all your pots and pans or hit your head or something like that? You don't have that problem here. Um, the uh, Let's step inside here for you. Do oh gosh, I almost forgot about that. This is a huge thing. They have double the warranty of your average lightweight. That's a huge thing. They're willing to put twice as much of their money on the line to say, we believe in our product. If you don't have a two-year warranty on the camper you're looking at, that means that the refrigerator literally has a better warranty than the camper. Just consider the implications of that for a minute. So this door is friction sprung, so you can do that and it doesn't even fly you know shut and or fly open as it were of course it helps when i actually grab the door not just the screen here we'll do this we'll hop inside before i start breaking stuff <laughs> all right so this is a neat little thing i've got the outside patio light on under the awning right now and i can tell because this is a backlit monitor it's very easy to see what i have going on even at a glance now look at the difference that just made pow all the lights in one shot now, they're not necessarily the only trailer to do that, but there are very few lightweights at this weight and this price point that can do what this trailer does. Now, I love the driftwood wood tones that they have going on here. They're very sharp, modern looking, very edgy. Love that. This uh, color scheme here, this is called uh, Mocha, by the way. And uh, there's, there's like Mocha, I think Granite's one or something like that. They're all pretty similar, but they do an excellent job of a light dark contrast in here. That's another reason this feels big. And this is the biggest thing in the lightweight class, again, because of that um, uh, deeper slide out. And again, it does make a difference. It's a difference you can see and feel. Here's another awesome thing about this. It is carpetless, not even in front of or on the slide, 100% truly carpetless. It is the first to ever do this. It's an exclusive, industry exclusive. No one else has ever done it. And everyone said it couldn't be done. It works great. It is so easy to keep this thing clean as a result. All of your overhead doors are strutted, so you don't have to juggle them open with your head or anything stupid like that. All of our shades uh, have the nice pleated shades to them. And they don't put the boxes on the side because they, you always bump them with your arm. You tend to rip them off the wall. Now you got holes in your wall and you're upset about it. Now you don't got to worry about it. There is storage under the dinette, and this table is totally freestanding. If I want to take this outside like a picnic table, if I want to use it like an island, if I want to swing it over here like a little dining table, do whatever you want. Not a problem. Again, lots of windows, and they all open for ventilation. And that's a thing a lot of rear bathrooms lack, is good windows. But you can see, this one does not suffer from that shortcoming. Um, I mean, the storage continues here in the kitchen. We've got great pots and pans storage. You can see that all the drawers are plywood on full glides. This is really cool. You've actually got a, a drawer in a drawer over here. So you have a deceptive amount of storage. And look at the countertops. The countertops here are um, a pressed membrane. This is a molded countertop. It, there's, there's not like the chance of water getting in this and sponging and swelling. It's basically the same benefit as a solid surface countertop without all the weight. The other thing is, this is not going to show scratches, guys. You go to resell this camper, it's going to look just as good as it does today. It, it will. Um, good countertop space, too. Plenty of it. And in case you're wondering, if you look up here, we do have power outlets in the kitchen. They're not, uh, you know, someone said, well, there's no outlets in the wall. Yeah, well, you don't need them in the wall. They're up out of the way. It's harder for water to get up here if you're splashing water on. Frankly, it's a really good idea. Um, again, more overhead storage. All the doors are strutted. The skylight for extra ambient light in here. Now, this particular RV we have upgraded to a 15,000 air instead of a 13.5, which we will typically do because it's literally like 126 bucks as opposed to the standard one for 50% more air power. It's a big deal, um, especially if you're going to be in a hot weather area. But the thing is, you can't tell the difference by looking at it. I've had people all the time, they say, well, I saw a camper just like that one down the street a dollar cheaper. I bet you did. I bet it didn't have the upgrades we put into this. Uh, you know, I don't necessarily carry the cheapest series of campers out there. We do carry some very fine ones, though, that we're very proud of. Amazing kitchen stores. Look at this giant drawer under the oven. Manufacturers don't give you drawers under the oven. 
because that costs an extra dollar. That's not the concern here. They want this to be one of the best, most functional things you've ever seen. And look, like all this storage, extra closet, extra pantry, um, extra everything, extra, extra. I mean, they have just packed this thing with tons of storage. Um, all the lights inside are LED. With, uh, let me check this one before I go saying that. I can't see up in here, but um, that might be an incandescent. I mean, someone's like, it's not 100% LED lighting because that's an incandescent bulb in the stovetop. Whatever. You know what I mean. You know, get real, people. But the rear bath in this thing is amazing. It is the focal point of this thing. That's why the model number is RB. But, so, first of all, just like your house, you walk in, just like the living room. Flick, switch. We got lights. Same countertops here. I don't know if I pointed it out, but this is also a pressed membrane countertop. It, but they, they gave it a different color so that it's the color you expect to find over here by and die net. They just did such a good job on this. So we have a big sink we can actually wash our hands in pretty darn deep with a medicine cabinet that can actually keep our toothpaste and stuff. Not to mention they left a space for the toothbrush holder. People don't think of that stuff. If you've never owned an RV, you don't know what questions to ask, and that's one of them. With bathroom space in here that a tall guy like me can actually stretch my legs out when I'm on the stool, and that is porcelain, not plastic, by the way, so you can actually scrub and clean that. A plastic one, it's porous, and you can't really do a good job of ever cleaning it. Um, the other thing here is, uh, you know, I can get dressed after I'm done in the shower in this bathroom. I'm not going to bash my head against the wall or anything. So we also have a larger radius shower. The radius shower is, is uh, it's like two, three inches uh, bigger all the way around than a corner shower. Not to mention, even a corner shower is better than a little tub in this camper. Um, and with that arch in the ceiling, we're going to get some extra height up here, especially with that skylight. So this is a true stand-up shower. Now this, this I love. I, this is not a unique floor plan, but the things they did with it are. So once again now, I actually have a second vanity over here. That's what I love about this thing. We have uh, like a, a dual setup. So um, here's the other thing too. We've got all the storage behind all these mirrored doors. Tons of storage, right? And that's awesome. This gives you so much space for all your towels and beach towels and everything. Hidden hinge doors to keep all the doors looking clean and out of the way. But look what happens here. Look what they created. You can flip these mirrors like this and have like a three-way vanity unfortunately right now you're stuck staring at this but just imagine yourself here instead of this sadly this is what my wife has looked forward to every day i now understand why she drinks <laughs> but the same countertop system in here that we have in the rest of the coach and big extension drawers all the way through you have so much user-friendly functional storage in this thing it's not even funny and your own personal wraparound vanity this has never been done. This is absolutely awesome now. They even left an outlet right here. Keep your blow dryer, your curling iron, any of that stuff, bam, right here. This is the perfect bathroom. Best I've ever seen in a camper. And floor to ceiling storage. They are killing it in this thing. Um, moving forward here, again, I love... Uh, the the carpetless also makes this thing look huge but again this is the difference between a 36 and uh, uh, a 39 inch slide out the the dinettes in the slide it doesn't stick out that extra width so this is actually even a deeper dinette than you typically find it's more comfortable for adults sitting here um, the electronics complement is um, supreme it's they're all Furion electronics Furion TV spe uh, the uh, all-in-one Bluetooth, DVD, everything system, the sound bar over here. Um, Furion is the most highly tested, rugged stuff on the market today. There's a reason you don't see it in your bargain brands. You only see it in top level stuff. Um, there, there's really not a lot of other guys in the lightweight category willing to spend this kind of money on electronics. Get on YouTube or give us a call and I'll send you a link to it. It's the Furion shake test, the way they shake their TVs and test them and freeze them and heat them. It is absolutely insane. I couldn't believe it. I wouldn't do that to my TV. And uh, this is this it has metal guts, not plastic. It lasts longer. It's built better than the one at your house. It's incredible. Again, same countertops as the kitchen. We also have sliding privacy doors, not just cheap little curtains. And check this out. A lot of lightweight trailers. Uh, you know, you have to walk in. You have to flick the switch. You don't have to walk around. You have to flick the switch to that light. Not at an open range. We have a light switch right by the bedroom door as you walk in. That's how it's supposed to be done. That costs an extra dollar or two. But look what it does for you. Look at the convenience and the user-friendly nature of this thing. Um, the uh, 
uh, mattress here. Pretty standard in the uh, lightweight industry. That's one of those things that, that unfortunately they had to follow suit with just keep uh, you know prices in check. A lot of people though, I don't care what mattress I put in here from an RV manufacturer. If someone wants to replace their mattress, they're going to replace it no matter what's here anyway. That's just one of those things that we found over time. Both sides of the bed do have uh, a nice little drawer system here with um you know uh, again that little laundry chute access uh there i mean they've just they've really they've really just done it all in here even the antenna i forgot to talk about that this is the same antenna system they're using in the big 3x fifth wheel the king jack antenna it has way superior range and reception as compared to the common stuff in there and you don't have to crank it down it's a low profile you can't accidentally bust this thing it just can't happen um, give us a call, learn more guys, because holy cow, is there a lot to learn. Like the fact that this has, you know, plywood floor and roof decking, aluminum trusses in the, in the ceiling, true walk-on ultralight roof at only 5,585 pounds. No one else is doing that. Um, so give us a call, 800-256-5196. Halid RV, take care, stay safe, happy camping everybody.